Today is our first day ever in the Philippines and we are starting on the adventure-filled island of Cebu. There is so much to do in Cebu from incredible snorkeling to canyoneering to swimming in hundreds of turquoise waterfalls. You could stay here for a very long time and never get bored. We flew into Cebu City last night and now we're making the three hour journey to Mobile where we'll get to visit our first beach in the Philippines, experience some amazing snorkeling and more in the days to come. We'll also be sharing some tips on how to get around, where to stay and all that good stuff. So if you're planning a trip, definitely stick around. Let's do this. We're Jill and Hana. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Let's go! Checkout is in 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> we really stretch it to the limit. We always do. Actually, we usually go over the limit. That's true. So we're at the South Bus Terminal here. You can pretty much show up any time of day. The buses leave every 30 minutes. Make sure you tell them that you want an air-conditioned bus to get to mobile, and it costed, cost 209 pesos each. Yeah, it's already 92 degrees outside. I don't want to repeat of yesterday's plane ride, so we definitely need an air-conditioned bus for the next four hours. Mademoiselle? Thank you. Never cherry it away. <laughs> yeah, the AC's pumping in here. It feels great. That's good because getting into our seats with our big fat backpacks always makes me work up a sweat. It's such an ordeal just to get into our seats with our luggage. We have so much. It's not our fault. We have all this camera gear and laptops and everything. That is true. That adds a lot of weight on our backs, literally. These seat designs look like they're straight from the 90s. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're so old. Oh my gosh. So old. It looks like the carpet flooring of a bowling alley that you had like your fifth birthday party at. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> With the little white, the yellow the squiggles. squiggles. Yeah. yeah. This bus ride alone is already really, really pretty. There's just all these rolling hills covered in banana trees and palm trees and goats. I love the goats. I just realized I don't think we've seen goats since Cambodia. They were like none in Vietnam. So I'm excited to be in farm barn land again. Farm barn land. Farm barn. <laughs> Make sure to bring There's your that. toilet paper and your hand sanitizer because you're not going to find any at the rest stop. <laughs> They are quite melted. Oh, nice, nice place. You need a husband? No. <laughs> <laughs> he asked if I needed a husband. Oh, no. I married a her. Oh, you need a husband? No, no. <laughs> That's my husband. Bye bye. You enjoy? Bye bye. This is a really interesting little contraption we're riding in. <laughs> I think they call it a tricycle. The bike is right there where he is, and we've got these other random seats. <laughs> Haven't seen anything like this before. <clears throat> we're getting out into the middle of nowhere out here. Oh, thank you. We already took our suitcases up to our room. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's way ahead of us. Oh, so fast. I know. Hello. It's like the mood lighting of a 20 year old man. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Yay. Oh, it looks so pretty out our window. Ooh. So, we are basically in the middle of nowhere right now, which is what I wanted. There's two different beach areas you can stay in mobile. The first one is Panasagma or something. And that's like the main one that everyone goes to. So there's like tons of restaurants, tons to do. But we decided for our first couple days here, we just wanted to like chill away from all the action on a nice sandy beach that doesn't have a whole lot of people. So there's literally like nothing out here, I don't think. We're on White Beach, but it's so quiet. All I hear is birds and wind, and that's really just what we wanted for our first few days here. And roosters, of course. 
Right when I said that. Mm, it feels so good outside with the breeze. Look at that sunshine. <laughs> Meanwhile, our hotel owner is showing us the way to the beach. It's super nice and quiet out here. It's glowing. Oh, wow, we got here at the uh, perfect time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is so pretty. <laughs> Watch your step. Okay. <laughs> Mm, I love that salty ocean air. Yeah, it's good to be back at the beach. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Since Thailand. Are you serious? It's been since our first two weeks in Thailand, which is still way less time than it ever was whenever we lived in Tennessee. Oh yeah. We would go years without seeing the beach. Yeah, that was crazy, but like, but still, yeah, this yeah. is the first time in like three months. It looks like a really long stretch of beach. There's an area down here where there's a bit more people, but yeah, nothing crazy. Here where we are right now is really, really quiet. Yeah, it's really empty. Nobody's, nobody's right here. You can actually hear the waves mm. and the birds. And there's so many puppy paw prints in the sand. And these little puppies living the life. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's tons of mountains all the way across out there. They're so tall. I thought they were just clouds. Yeah. Yeah, let's go uh, take a dip a dip. Though. Oh, the mountains back there are so cool. I feel like, I mean, it's probably not that rare, but to me it's rare to see like a beach horizon. Yeah. Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, something just slithered under my feet. Under? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, it felt like a snake or something. I don't know what that was. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh no. Oh man. It was under my toes, I guess started slithering out from oh. under my toes. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. All right, that's it for me. <laughs> no. Let's pack up. Oh, no. Let's go home. The water's really nice and clear here. It's a little hard to tell because it's starting to get dark out. I can fully see my feet at the That's some clear looking water to me. <laughs> oh, something else touched my foot. I don't like when things touch my foot. <laughs> Everybody's after your feet. It's just like the internet. <laughs> I'm going in. Oh, oh, chilly but good. Come on, Harnar. Cold. Okay, I'm good now. You always make the same face whenever you get into chilly water. Embracing my body, okay? <laughs> the same face and same sound. Oh, it looks so pretty. It's so The cool. waves coming right at us. It's so pretty. Woo! Oh my gosh, we're off the next two days. Yay. Okay, everyone on the internet. We came to the realization a couple days ago, we don't think we've taken two days off in well over a year. Mm -hmm. So that's not good. Nope, only one day at a time. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna do here, actually kind of the whole reason we came to White Beach, we're just gonna chill the next two days. It don't sound like much, but it's a lot to us. <laughs> I just want to like lay on the beach and swim. Just I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> it's a Kevin quote. I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> they actually have a lot of hot dogs here. It's surprising amount yes. of hot dogs. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I just want to sit here and look at these mountains and the waves and the GoPro. Oh, honey. <laughs> Is it food time? I'm hungry. Yes. It done been food time. <laughs> She's going ahead of me <laughs> to scare off any creatures with her feet. Yeah, I've got, I've got some scary feet. <laughs> <laughs> Such a sweet bean. I think we should be safe now. Except from the wind and the cold. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm really afraid of. <laughs> How about one of us gets out and dries off and then brings the towel? Okay. I will go fetch. You can do it. You can do it. And she looks good doing it too. My hero. Come and get your nice damp towel. <laughs> oh, I love sunsets. 
Being at the beach feels really great after being in some very large cities in Vietnam. This is like just what we needed. Nice little beach in the middle of nowhere with mountains in the distance. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. We had a great couple of days relaxing at White Beach and just spending some time together. But in hindsight, we don't really recommend staying here. There's truly nothing in this area and the only two restaurants we did find were not great. So after our break, we decided to relocate to the main tourist hub in Mobile, Panixama Beach. Here you'll find tons of delicious food, coffee, and nightlife. But what this place is really known for is the sardine run, where you can snorkel with millions of sardines and if you're lucky, some sea turtles just a few meters off the shore. Let's go! Alright, we got our snorkel gear, now we just gotta get in the water. Well, welcome to Panasagma Beach. There's really not much beach to this beach. I think it's just a jumping off point for snorkeling. <laughs> That's okay with me today though. I am so excited to just get in the water. It is hot as balls here, but the water is nice and cold. Oh! Careful! Yeah. Well, we charged two batteries for the GoPro last night, and when we got up today, one of them was completely dead. So this might be a very quick video. My transformation is complete. <laughs> Man, I always look so good in a snorkel. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that was sarcasm. If you didn't know. Ah! Ew. A million mouths have been on this thing. <laughs> So gross. I don't know if we're anywhere near the sardines. We'll find them. Supposedly we are. We will find the sardines. I got flippers on. I can swim for miles. Let's go! Yay! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels great. It feels amazing. Snorkeling. We've done this once before. We did some island hopping and snorkeling in southern Thailand and it was so much fun. But what I love about today is that we just rented our snorkel gear and we're just out here like going wherever we want to go. No time limit. No like other people we have to stay around the whole time. Like we can just swim anywhere along the shore that we want to go and it's just so fun. There's so much wildlife here. So many fish, even the coral just looks cool. It's all like waving down there. <sighs> I just really want to find a sea turtle still. <laughs> we will find them. That's good, I think. We found them already. They swam out like a hundred feet from the shore, and there's already like, a bunch of sardines right where the shore drops off. Go get them! <laughs> It's so funny because every time Hannah sees a whole bunch of birds on the beach, she runs straight at them and makes them all fly away. And this is exactly what she's about to do with sardines. <laughs> You're supposed to do it with the sardines though. <laughs> wow, the island just completely drops off. We can't even see the bottom anymore. There are so many. When I'm swimming, there's like multiple layers of sardines just like swimming underneath me. It's really cool. It gets super deep down there. I wish I could hold my breath far enough to go swim down there, but it's really cool. They're all shiny. charge it up a little bit and now we're back an hour before sunset. Alright, ready? One, two, three! Oh. <laughs> Never 
catch them. They're too fast. They're big scaredy cats. That was so cool. It was literally like a wall of sardines just swimming by me. <laughs> so beautiful out right now like we're snorkeling and the sun is setting it feels so good out the water feels amazing there's so many fishies this is such a good day okay. <laughs> and this is where we got in uh-huh and this is where the turtle was apparently 30 minutes ago and we missed the turtle <laughs> <laughs> How do we find a turtle? Is there a turtle call we can do? What would a turtle say? Um, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Call him. Call the turtle. Dude. 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 <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> oh, I wish. This little fish is obsessed with Hana. It keeps swimming all around her. I was just swimming and I saw this little fish like swimming in front of my goggles like right here. I thought it was a leaf. And then he was this tiny little orange fish. And he keeps just like swimming around me. Like we have a symbiotic relationship now. He like swims with me, I protect him and he, I don't know what he does for me. He's cute, he makes me happy. <laughs> oh, this guy is getting so oh my pink goodness, and it's beautiful. So great. It looks like cotton candy. We're swimming back to shore now, and that little orange fish is following Jill now. He's like literally just like swimming with her. And we've adopted a fish. <laughs> I was not expecting this. All the other fish are so scared of us, they swim away the second we come close. <laughs> they swim away if they know you're looking at them. But this little feller, he's just like, you're my mommy now. <laughs> We were a bit disappointed we didn't see any turtles today, but a day spent snorkeling is never a bad one, and the sardine run was pretty incredible. Our first few days in the Philippines were some really good ones, and it wasn't necessarily because we did some big crazy activities or visited the world's best beaches. This was the first point in our full-time travel journey that we actually decided to slow down for a couple of days and take some time for ourselves. After this point, we committed to taking one day off every week, and it's made a massive difference in our mental health. Even though we're having an amazing time traveling, the truth is that no matter how fun your life is, there is no replacement for rest, relaxation, and basic self-care. So I guess we're just hoping that this video serves as a reminder to do those things for yourself, because you deserve it. We'll see you guys in the next one, and as always, stay wiggity. Good luck editing this six minute clip. <laughs> 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 she laughs. <laughs> My future pain. <laughs> Hope we're getting all of this golden audio here today. Good luck in the editing this 11 and a half minute video. Rest in peace. <laughs> no! <laughs> she just went up. <laughs> and we brought one towel. <laughs> that was smart. Good move. Wrapped. <laughs> you may adjust as needed. I'm like the white person working at Chipotle. <laughs> I say that because I was the white person working at Chipotle. And the ladies were always like, no, you're wrapping the burrito wrong. You wrap a great burrito. You taught me now. how. Well, that's because I was disciplined. Heavily. <laughs> Then she waddled away. Waddle waddle. <laughs> then she waddled away. Waddle waddle.